This little liquid cooled 6200 PSI, 12 volt, 110 volt, 220 volt, auto shut off, ultra quiet portable air gun compressor with a built in converter will just as happily charge your air guns as it will a 6.8 liter, 75 cubic foot SCBA tank. Today I'll show you how to set it up as well as how to maintain it. And together we'll time and refill two Air Venturi Avengex air guns the 210cc tube and the 400cc bottle. We'll do the 480cc FX Air Guns King as well as that 75 cubic foot SCBA tank. We'll even double back and 12 volt refill one of those guns to see how things compare to the compressor being plugged into the wall. Coming up. AEAC is made possible by Air Venturi, Hawksport Optics, Diana Air Guns, FX Air Guns, Sabre Tactical, Air Arms, Leapers and UTG Pro, Zan Projectiles, Air Marksman, and Predator JSB Match Diablo. And you guys know the best way to thank them. <laughs> Setup on the JTS Comp 100 is quick and easy. First, unscrew the cap to the built-in water tank. Next, add distilled water or an automotive 50-50 antifreeze mix and bring the level up to the bottom of the return hole. If you haven't already, plug the included power cord into the unit and then into the wall. And be sure that the 110 volt, 220 volt toggle switch is in the right position for your situation. Now flip the power switch into the AC position. This will turn on the cooling fan and activate the water pump. With the water pump running, continue to add fluid until the water level stays steady at the bottom of the return hole. Return the water tank fill cap and hand tighten. Lastly, connect the included fill whip. And give it a little tug afterwards to make sure it's on right. Now let's get to fill in our first air gun. It'll be the 210cc version of the Air Venturi Avenge X. And we'll take it from 2000 PSI to 4350, mirroring its operating range. Now the JTS compressor comes equipped with an auto shutoff dial. You'll set this dial to the pressure at which you want the machine to automatically stop at the end of the fill. And you'll do so by depressing the knob on top so that you can pick up and move the set pins. For this gun, we'll move our stop needle to 300 bar, which is 4,350 PSI. Connect the included fill whip to your gun, then power up the unit. And always make sure the bleed valve is in the open position before hitting the start button. This reduces initial load on the compressor, protecting its internals. Once everything's hooked up and running, go ahead and close the bleed valve. Now your air gun is filling and will automatically shut off at the pressure you set the auto shut off dial to. Don't leave your gun unattended while filling. For a full review of the Air Venturi Avenge X, click here. And for a master tuning guide, click here. Less than five minutes later and we're about full. And I'm hovering here so I can hit stop on the stopwatch just as the machine's auto shutoff dial activates. And there it goes. Open the bleed valve to purge the pressure in the fill whip and disconnect your gun. Now it's important to leave the unit's fans and water pump running for approximately two to four minutes after each fill. This will help the unit safely cool down. Maintenance on the JTS Comp 100 is easy. 
Every eight to 10 hours, rotate the arrow on top of the grease refill valve one full turn. You'll feel it click into place when the two triangles line up. Next, run the compressor for a period of five minutes with the bleed valve open so that there's no load on it. This will help to distribute the grease that you just added. Now let's do it again, this time with another Air Venturi Avenge X, however, with the 400cc bottle this time. And I'll leave the volume levels unaltered on this one so that you can hear what the machine actually sounds like true to life. This Avenge X is riding in an aftermarket Sabre Tactical chassis with an MFT buttstock and an AccuTac bipod. It's configured in 25 caliber and does have that optional 400cc carbon fiber bottle. In the next millennium, when you do run out of grease, you can add more. Simply turn the grease fill valve counterclockwise to unscrew it. And do the same with the arrowed knob on top so you can back the plunger out and repack it. JTS recommends bio food grade EP grease by renewable lubricants. Or something similar. JTS's Comp 100 will happily fill from your car battery too. Take the included 12 volt harness and connect it to the 12 volt port on the front of the compressor. After that, hook it to your car battery. Black clip first, and then the red one. And then start the car, always in that order. We'll get things going just as we did before, but this time we'll flip the starter switch to DC 12 volt. Hook up the gun, open the bleed valve, hit start, close the bleed valve, and you're off to the races. Speaking of races, this is a duplicate refill of the Air Venturi Avenge X 210cc tube version that we filled before, giving us a chance to compare an AC fill time to the previously recorded DC fill time, which was 4 minutes and 34 seconds. Just as before, we'll refill from 2000 to 4350 PSI. We're gonna finish about 26 seconds faster on DC than we did on AC. I don't know if that was because it was 85 degrees in the garage and 75 degrees inside the house, or if it's because the Comp 100 is a 12 volt compressor first, using an onboard internal converter to reduce the 110 or 220 volt down to 12. If I had to guess, I'd say it's just because it's hotter inside the garage. I didn't hear the compressor running any faster or harder on 12 volt. As before, let the cooling fan and water pump run for two to four minutes to cool the machine down before shutting it off. The FX Air Guns King uses a common 480cc carbon fiber bottle that is refillable to 250 bar, offering us another good relatable measure of the JTS Comp 100's abilities. Before beginning, I set the unit's auto shutoff dial to 250 bar. We'll refill it from 100 bar to 250 bar or 1,450 to 3,650 PSI, an operating range common to it. This King is also sitting in an aftermarket Sabre Tactical chassis, upon an AccuTac bipod, and underneath an Element Optics scope, held in place by Leaper's UTG Pro scope rings. I'll have a full review out before Christmas. It's in 30 caliber. If your fill comes up a little short, no big deal. Purge the bleed valve so that your compressor is not restarting under load. And bump up your auto shutoff dial a little bit. Then simply restart the compressor and close the bleed valve.
It's an easily recoverable mistake. So it turns out that the Comp 100 is small but mighty and is rated to fill up to 6,800 cubic centimeters, or 6.8 liters. You'll even find this size tank rated at 75 cubic feet on some websites, which is the total volume of air compressed into those 6.8 liters at 300 bar. It's about like having the volume of a king-sized mattress crammed into that little bottle. What you see me doing here that's a little different than when filling an air gun is that I'm slowly equalizing the pressure between the SCBA tank and the compressor. I'm doing this by slowly opening the yoke on the SCBA tank so that its existing air pressure doesn't go rushing through the fill whip slamming into the compressor's internals. It's just another way to be kind and protective of your compressor. And it's a safer way to do things. Fifty-two minutes later and we are about full. Once it is, be sure to first close the yoke on the SCBA tank before you open the bleed valve on the compressor. Otherwise, all the air in the SCBA tank will come rushing out the compressor's bleed valve. And yes, expect a little bit of a condensation mess at the end. And it's probably best to give things a good five minute cool down after a hard run like that. Well, that is all for today, guys. And special thanks to Pyramid Air for getting the JTS Comp 100 into my hands to review for you. You guys know the best way to thank them for that one. Now, from here, y'all want to head on over to the Airgun Nation forum so that you can participate in the discussion thread on the JTS. I'll leave you a link on how to get there in the description down below. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great week, everyone.